Hi, I'm Evan. I'm a Review Program Technical Supervisor here at the Organic Materials Review Institute. Welcome to our series, Understanding OMRI. I'm going to be talking about the scope of OMRI's review program, the types of products OMRI reviews, and how those products fit into OMRI's review program. So OMRI's scope can be classified into two topics. OMRI's general scope of review and OMRI's class. OMRI's general scope of review means that OMRI is going to review input products. It's going to review things like fertilizers, livestock feeds, pesticides, sanitizers, products that are used by organic operations in order to make their own end-use products. OMRI does not review things that are devices or services or technologies. Those are all considered outside of OMRI's general scope of review. Another aspect of OMRI's general scope of review is that we only review products that are intended for use in organic operation. So we will not review products that are intended for human consumption or domestic animal consumption. We will not review products intended for aquaculture because that's outside of the scope of the organic regulations. And under the core standards, we won't review products intended for aquaculture or aeroponics. Those are both considered outside the scope of the core standards. Input products are reviewed according to a class that they are intended to be used for. The class of a product is dependent on the label claims for the product. In other words, the intended use of the product. So OMRI has three major classes that we review to, generally crops, livestock, and processing. And again, the product, uh, the class that it's reviewed in is dependent on the claims on its label, its intended use. So when considering a product's class scope, it's often important to ignore for a moment the composition of the product, what it's made of, and focus solely on the claims that are on the label. Because it's those label claims that really determine the class scope and then determine the, the standards that the review is, is conducted under. So to summarize, OMRI's general scope of review is limited to input products to be used in organic operations. OMRI further defines scope by the class that the product is reviewed in, and a class scope is dependent on the label claims for the product, how it's intended to be used. For more information, you can click on this link to go to the OMRI policy manual where scope is further defined at section 1.7. Does the Lord of the Rings trilogy count as one film?